Greetings Star Child readers, this is Celia Finn and I'd like to speak to you today about the important eclipses and energetic alignments that are coming up in the month of June 2011 and early July. These eclipses are very important because they are part of a continuation of the unfolding energies that began in December of 2010 at the solstice there and will continue to the 21st of December in 2012 and are connecting this year with the 11-11-11 Stargate. So the energies you're going to be feeling in this next month are going to be very intense and very powerful and very important in the alignments of our planet with the galactic center because we're moving into alignment with this galactic center portal and preparing for that moment or that um, process of the earth's ascension into higher consciousness that will culminate in 2012. Now in the last um, channels and seminars that we've been doing together Archangel Michael has spoken about the concept of becoming a master of time and what this means is that as we become more sophisticated and more able to work with our quantum reality we are able to hold and work with several timelines and consciousnesses at the same time several calendars and to see how they fit together. For example, what I'm going to be working with now in this talk, I'm working with the ideas of astrology, which is the, um, the 12 houses, but I'm also going to bring in a new concept, a fifth dimensional um, concept called astronomology, which is a combination of astronomy and astrology. <coughs> In astronomology, we have 13 houses instead of 12, and so working together, we are able to blend um, the two timelines. But first, let me talk about the importance of the eclipses and the solstice. An eclipse is that moment when new light codes are brought into the reality of the planet. They are planetary shifts. And a solar eclipse brings in a planetary shift on the solar level and likewise a lunar eclipse brings in new light codes on the lunar level um, creating shifts and changes on the planet. So let's look at what we have coming up for us in the month of June. On the 1st of June we have a partial solar eclipse in Gemini. And how will we experience that? Okay. Traditionally in the 12 house astrology, Gemini is the sign of the twins. And this has to do with duality a great deal. Now, if your consciousness is closely connected to the third dimension or the old energy, you're going to be feeling the effects of duality and the the shifts and changes in duality. So it could be a time of, of breaking down, of difficulties for you. However, if you've shifted yourself into higher consciousness, into the fifth dimension, then you will be experiencing what Gemini stands for in higher consciousness, which is the integration of the twin flame energies. And in this um, particular instance, you will feel it coming together an integration, not only on the inner uh, plane, but also on the outer plane. The inner plane is where your higher self and your lower self will come together. On the outer plane, you may be drawn towards soulmates, um, groupings, people, or even a beloved twin flame who will enter your life at this time. So it could be a very exciting time. And then on the 15th of June, we have a total lunar eclipse. This is in Gemini Sagittarius. 
Now, in the old um, astrology patterns, it falls in Sagittarius. In the new fifth dimensional astrology patterns, it falls in the 13th house of Ophiuchus. Now, not many people know much about the 13th house. Um, it's, it's tended to be suppressed or laughed off. But in fact, using the new insights of um, astronomy and the celestial bodies, we have discovered that in fact there are 13 houses in our um, zoological map. And that Ophiuchus is the important new one. And Ophiuchus has to do with the new age of light, with peace and with healing on a very deep level. So at this... Um, total lunar eclipse, we can expect that these new codes that come in will bring um, these energies into our lives. If we're focused in the old um, areas, we probably will find that there will be a lot of stress and confusion on the level of concepts and ideas and philosophies. And this will be reflected in the political arena so we can expect political turmoil, probably economic turmoil as well, as um, the old ideas and, and concepts begin to or continue to break down. But on the higher level, we can expect incredible new energies to be coming in with this um, brand new 13th house energy and codes for tremendous healing and tremendous new opportunities for all of us. Now, I was very excited about this, and one of the reasons why I'm doing this um, transmission is that I came across a really beautiful article by someone who does this new um, kind of astronomology, um, someone I know called Donna Provancha, and she has this beautiful article about the full moon. And she says here, this year's full moon in Ophiuchus will break the horizon in Stonehenge within three minutes of its having reached 100% full phase and total lunar eclipse. What do you think about that? Is it sheer coincidence or could it be precise celestial timing? Imagine that, this wonderful full lunar eclipse is going to break the horizon above Stonehenge at that exact moment. When I read this, I felt so excited. I've just known in the past years that Stonehenge, that in beautiful, incredible ancient site in the south of England, is coming back online. When I was there two years ago, I could just feel it was humming, it was coming back online. And at this moment, at this... Um, total lunar eclipse, it will come online again as a super celestial and cosmic highway. So that by the time of the summer solstice, Stonehenge is really going to be humming along and is going to be connecting us to some incredible energies. She also says that um, the sun on June the 15th is separating from a conjunction with the Crab Nebula. The separation factor when the Moon is precisely 100% full is approximately 0.14 of a degree. So as one might reasonably expect, the combined solar Crab Nebula energy field is bright hot from the encounter and the light is being reflected off the Ophiuchus Moon and it couldn't be of any higher quality. At full Moon, the alignment has already peaked, but the sun isn't far enough away for the energy fusion to have begun to dissipate yet. What this means is that the energy from the 15th to the 21st is going to be incredibly powerful. It's going to be something that we haven't experienced for a very long time. And it's going to be the engine of tremendous change and tremendous new opportunities. So I think that by the solstice on the 21st of June, and the solstice traditionally brings in a new cycle of energy, 
we're going to be experiencing and expecting these new energies together with new opportunities and new vibrations. Those of you who are attuned to the fifth dimension and the higher dimensions will experience incredible openings and opportunities. Things will really start to fall into place for you around about this time. If there are parts of you or those of you who are still completely attached to the third dimension or the old energy, you're probably going to find yourself experiencing equally impressive crashes and the endings of illusions. And sadly, yes, at this time, we are really having to let go of our illusions, all of them. But as we let go of our illusions, we are opening up to the possibilities and the potentials of these wonderful new energies that are coming in. So, after the solstice, on the 1st of July, we have another partial solar eclipse, which is when the sun is in Cancer. And this is also leading us into another important moment in July, which is the 26th of July, which is the planetary new year, according to many of the ancient calendars, um, including the Mayan calendar, and also leading up to the Lion's Gate on the 8th of August, the 8 8. So the Sun in Cancer and the partial eclipse there will bring in a stabilizing effect with the influence of the Divine Feminine. There will be new solar codes coming in to activate the Divine Solar Feminine energies to the higher level. And on the, the old energy of the third dimension we can expect um, continuing breakdown of old gender stereotyping and on the fifth dimension we can expect the empowerment of the feminine energy the goddess energy and women coming to equal positions and strength and empowerment with the divine masculine or male energy so I think what this means in real terms what we can be expecting a powerful month a month of opportunities a month of openings a month when we will align more clearly with our future selves and whatever it is that we have agreed to do in the new earth as our future purpose but at the same time we're going to experience on, on the old energy level um, continued chaos continued breakdown um, more political instability and shifting of ideas and concepts as we align ourselves more with the ideas of a sustainable future and a spirituality that is supportive of life on earth and the physical body and its embodiment on the earth and I'm also feeling that at this time the issues of gender are going to become more important um, with the changes in the Middle East I think women are going to emerge there as more powerful and more empowered. Certainly I think that women in Saudi Arabia will be driving soon with the rest of us. I think that in the United States um, the what they call the war against women will um, lose its momentum and there will be another push for equality, for women to have choice and even for um, people, uh, gay relationships and gay marriage to become a part of our reality so that people can have choice and decide what they want to do and how they want to express themselves in a free society, in a free planetary society. So I will be um, doing the usual channel from Archangel Michael and there will be some beautiful information coming through from that. So for now, it's just to thank you for listening to me and sharing with me this wonderful information for the month of June. And um, I'll be speaking to you again soon. Thank you.